Tesla's first big event of 2024 is just hours away, and I've got all the last minute leaks and rumors you need to know about on what we may be getting. Some curveballs might be coming from Elon. Plus, we've got some more info on Tesla's master plan for the rest of 2024, the new Model Y refresh, which may or may not be happening. Uh, we've got updates on the big holiday update coming later on this year with a bunch of new features, and a big Cybertruck discount might be coming way sooner than we thought. If you want a Cybertruck, you might just want to wait a couple more weeks because everything's about to change. Lots of stuff happening in the wild world of Tesla. Let me tell you all of the stuff you need to know right now, and especially with that Tesla event hours away, here's what you need to know right now. And I also want to give a big thanks to Temu for sponsoring this video. All right, so as I just mentioned, at the time this video is going to be published, we're hours away, depending on when you watch it, from Tesla's first big event of the year. This is their annual shareholder meeting. They're doing a big event over at Giga Texas. And uh, if you want to watch it live, it'll be live streamed. I'll leave a link down below if I can find it and where you can watch it. I'll also be there to cover it. So if you want to subscribe, I'll show you some behind the scenes stuff that they've got. There's going to be some factory tours and stuff. I might uh, do a couple of videos on that. So stay tuned for that later on this week. But in the meantime, obviously, there's a lot of questions on what we could be getting at that big annual shareholder event. Obviously, the big sort of dramatic story is on Elon's compensation package. There's been some lawsuits on whether or not that will be paid out or not. We should be hearing the results of that uh, very soon. But also there are some wild cards on some other topics that might be addressed at that event that will really sort of set the course for Tesla for the remainder of 2024 and big updates we may or may not be getting. Obviously, there will be a big emphasis on full self-driving. Tesla is doing a lot of work in this space with full self-driving supervised. And with the release of the CyberCab uh, happening, or at least the announcement of it uh, happening later on in August, you better believe that there's going to be a heavy emphasis on that. Also, a recent Tesla FSD update has removed the nag. As long as you're not wearing a hat or sunglasses or anything that could be obstructing the cabin camera's view of your face, uh, you've now got a nag-free experience if if this little green light is illuminated. So if that's something you've been looking forward to, that should be rolling out to your vehicle soon. Like I mentioned, the next Tesla event slated for this year is the CyberCab RoboTaxi unveil on August 8th. And while that's going to be an event dedicated to that new vehicle, we might be getting some more details on it and how that's going to work at the annual shareholder event. Since Tesla themselves sort of showed off some pieces of this vehicle in that promo video a couple of weeks ago, uh, seems like we might be getting some info on that. So if you're curious on what that process is going to look like, uh, stay tuned because that should be getting uh, some new info uh, revealed on it very soon. Also, I'm curious if we'll be getting any comments on Tesla's cheaper, more affordable vehicles. Remember that we had heard reports that Tesla was sort of canceling their official sort of new $25,000 Tesla. Instead, Tesla said they were going to basically make cheaper versions of what they've got right now, and they were going to accelerate the timeline of that to potentially have those out later on this year. Curious if during the presentation or during the whole, you know, uh, investor Q&A, if we'll get some more info on what those vehicles are what the price point is going to be, and what concessions Tesla is going to make in the production process to bring prices down. The other thing I'm super curious to see if we'll get some info on or not at this annual shareholder event is going to be on syncing deliveries, specifically as it pertains to the new Model Y. Now, the current Model Y, Tesla's running a bunch of incentives and deals on there trying to get people interested in this vehicle, but we're hearing an increasing amount of chatter that a new Model Y could be coming soon. One Tesla sort of China insider posted we could be getting a Model Y uh, as soon as next month over in China. We had also heard that Giga Shanghai was taking some of their production capacity of Model Y uh, down for a couple of weeks in May so for some potential retooling. Maybe it was for uh, the new Model Y. Also remember that Bloomberg story also speculated that we could be getting a Model Y refresh over in China, mass production starting in the first half of the year. And then there was the weird sort of Tesla France thing about an upgraded Model Y. And then they sort of later fix that. Lots of little hints and clues. Now, no matter which Tesla you decide to pick up, I think we can all agree that half the fun of owning one of these amazing cars is finding really cool accessories that really enhance your Tesla experience. And I have found a couple here that are really amazing, a perfect addition to your Tesla, and also you can get for an incredible deal thanks to Temu. Like this one here is one of the coolest that I've ever seen. It seems sort of weird on the surface, 
But you see this little sort of exposed screw randomly in the back of the Model 3's trunk? Well, this actually screws into that screw and makes use of it and turns it into like a shopping bag holder. It's got hooks built uh, on it, multiple hooks, so you can hook bags, backpacks, little baggies, whatever you want to. And by the way, the price for this thing? A dollar and 18 cents, a truly unbeatable deal. Another essential accessory every Tesla owner has got to have is this J1772 to Tesla adapter. We all love our superchargers, we love our NACS chargers, but most of the uh, country, at least here in North America, is using that J1772 connector, so you're going to need this connector in order to charge your car, so definitely make sure you pick this one up. I'm also a big fan of this phone holder for your Tesla as well, super, super adjustable here, you can really get it to the angle that you like, uh, just using friction, no adhesive, no gunk on your screen, and also it's going to be sort of in the corner and gives you full access of your Tesla screen, just a little over 20 bucks, and again, a really amazing amazing deal. Best of all is this crazy good deal though. If you're a new Temu user, you can scan the QR code on screen, download the app, and you can get this phone holder for just $1.00. Really great phone holder and a truly unbeatable deal. You won't find this anywhere else. What I also really like and it's super cool about Temu is that they've got basically everything under the sun you'd want, way beyond just really cool test accessories. In fact, for the last couple of months, many of the sort of props and accessories I have here in my studio that you see in every video, those are from Temu, and I got them for a really good deal. So if you want to learn more about Temu, check out all these amazing products for yourself today and take advantage of some really great deals. Hit the link right down below to learn more and check them out for yourself right now. To play devil's advocate on this, Elon, of course, rebuked these over on X, saying no Model Y refresh is coming, uh, this year at least, and talking about how Tesla is constantly making improvements all the time. And that could lead to sort of, well... Three different scenarios, I guess. One is that Elon is telling the truth. The Model Y stays the same and no updates or upgrades come to this vehicle for the rest of the year. The second thing is that what Elon means by this is that, you know, when he says that Tesla is making upgrades all the time, maybe instead of a bigger refresh, we get little updates piece by piece. So we get the RGB ambient lighting and then some other tweaks. Tesla's been doing some color tweaks and wheel tweaks, so maybe they continue to do that. Maybe we get uh, more of a piecemeal update and refresh. Or um, Elon has sort of been known and Tesla has been known to sort of rebuke uh, rumors that do end up being true. So maybe even though he says this, maybe we do get the refresh sometime this year or it's early next year. Not sure where this lands. It's been really interesting lately to see all the different leaks on Model Y Juniper. And there's been a lot of uh, information on one side or the other on whether or not we'll get this. I, of course, will bring you up to speed on the latest as we learn more. But that's where we stand right now. Lots of evidence suggesting maybe we get a refresh happening this year, maybe as soon as next month. Elon saying no, but leaving the door open for other things. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, in the meantime, I'd expect for the rest of the year that we get some more incentives on the Model Y. Like I mentioned, Tesla's running a lot of different promotions to try to get people to buy this vehicle. So in addition to the federal tax credit, maybe we get some more discounts. Maybe we get a new low APR incentive like the 0.99 that just ended back in May. Maybe we see some more inventory discounts, some other you know free colors or upgrades. Seems like Tesla is doing things about once a quarter to get people interested in buying the Model Y. So if you're happy with the current Model Y offering and you're looking for a good deal, uh, I would definitely wait it out because now would be a good time to buy, especially at the end of the upcoming quarter. So stay tuned. I'm sure we'll see some updates and incentives and discounts uh, for the current Model Y uh, lineup as it stands right now. Next change to look out for in the Tesla lineup has to do with Tesla's higher end, maybe forgotten vehicles, Model S and Model X. We've heard for like almost a year now that Tesla has been working on a refresh to these vehicles or a minor refresh that would bring things like the front bumper camera and the RGB ambient lighting for the interior from Cybertruck over to Model S and Model X. There's also been speculation about 48 volt architecture, steer by wire, all of these new, you know, refresh things, but we've gotten nothing. Over the last couple of months, we got the introduction of the lunar silver color. We got the introduction of new plaid seats, but only for Model S. And that's been it. And there has been no talk for the last couple of months on any sort of refresh. And we'd even heard, I think it was back in, was it March or April? Just a couple of months ago, that Tesla was 
um, producing refreshed Model S's and X's and we'd be getting an announcement or some kind of reveal soon and then nothing happened. So not sure if there were some issues on that or maybe Tesla's corporate restructuring sort of put a pause on that. Um, if you're looking to buy a Model S and Model X, I've got no info to tell you when to buy or when to not uh, consider it because we don't know when the refresh is coming. Maybe something, hopefully something before the end of this year, but um, we are expecting something before the end of 2023. So right now, no one seems to know what's going on with those vehicles. On the Model 3 side, everything here is basically as good as it's going to get for the foreseeable future. Now that we've got the new Model 3 and we've got the Model 3 Performance, everything here is really, really good. Now is a fantastic time to buy a Model 3, and I would not expect any significant or really any minor changes to the Model 3 for the foreseeable future. Tesla has been running some special finance deals uh, for the Model 3 rear-wheel drive and the Model 3 long range. Of course, the performance variant is going to qualify for the federal tax credit, assuming you do. So maybe we see some incentives and discounts there, some slight discounts. But if you're looking to buy a Model 3, now is a really good time, especially with the launch of the performance version. Um, the lineup has never been better. So Model 3, totally safe to buy. Don't expect any changes coming to that vehicle anytime soon. And then over on the Cybertruck side, things have been interesting here. Uh, obviously, Tesla has been producing these since November, and they're currently in the Foundation Series. This is that $20,000 premium where you get some extra things, and you're basically getting the first run, um, bringing the price up to $100,000 or $120,000, depending on the configuration you go with. And the big story lately has been when Tesla might be ending the Foundation Series and bringing prices down to the uh, sort of more normal of 80 or 100,000, depending on which model you go with. If you look on Tesla's website right now, they have a delivery estimate for sort of the regular trim sometime in 2024. So many are thinking maybe sometime this year, the Foundation Series could be ending and we get the regular sort of dual motor and cyber beast offerings. We've also seen sort of an uptick in the reservation emails going out. So basically, if you put a pre-order in for a cyber truck, you were sort of in the queue and Tesla has slowly but surely uh, been sending out batches of emails for configurations and deliveries. And I can tell you personally, I had put an order in in 2021, so not super long ago, but also not one in the beginning. And I just got my configuration email um, a couple of days ago. So uh, they're now working their way into 2021. And for an order I had been watching, we saw a uh, timeline of order to VIN assignment in less than 24 hours, which might just be a fluke, might be an anomaly, or might point to the fact that Tesla is nearing the end of the heightened demand more than supply. Supply is catching up to demand, and maybe the Foundation Series could be ending, which would, again, bring prices down $20,000 for every single Tesla Cybertruck in the lineup. So if you're looking to buy a Cybertruck, but you're not looking to pay Foundation Series pricing, you don't care about the extras, not saying that it's going to happen tomorrow, but it seems increasingly likely that maybe by the end of this year, early next year, the Foundation Series might be wrapping up and prices will go down to their regularly um, sort of announced uh, price brackets uh, sometime in the not so distant future. So stay tuned on that. And uh, yeah, I'll have some Cybertruck content on this channel soon. So subscribe if you're interested in that. All right. So we talked Tesla pricing. We talked Tesla models. Really, the last thing I think we can expect to see sometime this year or aside from whatever we see from CyberCab, is going to be Tesla's big holiday update. Now, Tesla, to their credit, actually re did release a pretty nicely packed spring update that brought a lot of nice features to our vehicles. But the holiday update has been the biggest one for the year. This is where we get a lot of new games and improvements and UI tweaks. And for the holiday update for 2024, we're still about six months out, so nothing is leaked as of uh, yet that's super concrete. But based off of some leaks, there's a little bit of an idea of what we may be able to expect. A couple of features that have been kicking around in the rumor mill for a while that we might be seeing before the end of this year. Dolby Atmos support for Apple Music, especially since Rivian just got this on their new uh, refresh models. That could be something we see come to Tesla vehicles. The ability to airplay content from your phone to your car also might be coming. We've seen this in various stages of development. That might be coming soon. Uh, also, Tesla's been doing a lot of work over in China on new mapping technologies, uh, whether it's new uh, Baidu mapping graphics or different um, red light camera countdowns or whatever it is. There's a heavy emphasis in that territory on mapping, and I'm curious to see if any of those improved maps or graphics might be making their way out internationally. That would be cool to see. 
Leak code suggests that Amazon Music will be coming as an option for Tesla Media soon. And that's about what we know right now in terms of the holiday update. Of course, the closer we get to the end of the year, the more we're going to get in news on that front. Um, but yeah, that's what we know right now. And that's kind of our best guess right now of Tesla's plans for the remainder of the year. We've got the stockholder event, we're going to get the CyberCab unveil, and then maybe not any events for the remainder of the year, but some potential changes to the lineup. Maybe the Model S and X refresh, maybe some Model Y upgrades to varying degrees, and stuff like that. Um, but I'm curious, what are your thoughts, guys, on Tesla's plan for the rest of the year? Your thoughts on Model Y changes that may or may not be happening? Your thoughts on potential Tesla price changes? Thoughts on the holiday update? What features would you like to see? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Also, just want to give a big thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring and supporting this channel. They have got over 400 artworks in their collection from names you've heard of, Picasso, Warhol, and Banksy. And as the economy right now is up and down and up and down, you're probably looking for a different investment strategy. And one of the best places to actually put your money is in fine art. Billionaires know it, banks know it, and now you can get a piece of the action as well. Masterworks makes it so simple, so easy. Over 900,000 users have signed up. And if you want to get immediate access, skip that wait list. All you've got to do is scan the QR code on screen right there or head to masterworks.art slash Rosenfeld to learn more and get started today. And again, skip that wait list and get immediate access right now. And also, if you made it to the very end of the video and you want a chance to win some free Amazon gift card money, three simple things you got to do for that. Super simple. Subscribe to the channel, hit like on this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what feature you'd like to see in the Tesla holiday update for 2024. What's a big feature missing in your Tesla that you'd like to see? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for support. Thank you for all that you guys do. You're amazing. Thank you all. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you in the next one.